Hello and welcome along, my name is Simon Dan and today I'm taking on a fellow Brit. Now, he is another one of these gravity deniers and he's taking up an issue with the tides. Specifically that the moon does not cause them. I think we need to re-educate him, don't we? Okay, let's get started. Hello Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. It's low tide here in Portis Head in the southwest of England off the River Severn estuary. The difference between the low and high tides, which occur twice daily each, is about five to six metres. Actually, for Porter's Head, it's more like nine to ten metres, but hey, who's counting? You can see over there the difference between the low tide now and the high tide mark at the lock entrance, and the boats beyond in the marina have to wait until high tide until they can be let out of the lock. So this means that millions of tons of water is being shifted and we are told that this is because of the moon's gravitational pull on the earth. But the high and low tides are occurring four times a day with the moon going overhead just once a day in any given location. Right. Let's think about this logically, shall we, rather than just assume the widely accepted scientific theory is wrong. The Moon takes 28 days to orbit us, so it's clear that the Earth is rotating faster than the Moon is orbiting us. If you are stood at a certain point, for example, when there is a high tide, then the Moon's gravitational pull is causing that high tide. Six hours later, the Earth has rotated a quarter of a turn, so to speak, and therefore you are now standing in a spot that is a low tide. Another six hours on and you're back in a position where there's a high tide. Go forward six hours again and it's low tide. Finally, after one day, you are back where you started a high tide. There. Two high tides, two low tides, one day. And with all this water being shifted with so much force, how come we and other living things which are mostly comprised of water, do not feel this force acting on us as well. This is a matter of scale. The Moon's gravity is influencing us, yes, but the effect is so immeasurably small we don't feel it. Gravity weakens by a factor of its distance squared. Oceans are huge. The Atlantic, for example, has an area of over 100 million square kilometres, yet the tidal range is only a few metres. The Mediterranean, which is significantly smaller than the uh, Atlantic, has tides that max out around one metre. Lakes have tides as well, but they're very, very small. So every aspect of these tides defies logic. I think you'll find that when you watch this video, that the statement you just made right then is fairly embarrassing for you. Food for thought and maybe we should be considering other theories and reasons as to why we have such a massive difference in the tides. What theories are those then? Because there are none that exist which can explain all of it. And you know that, which leads me to think that you haven't got a clue what you're talking about. You see, you don't even know what's going on in the world, yet you are so eager to dismiss what's actually happening. It beggars belief. So it's now high tide, and you can see those boats that were on the mud are now floating. Should be able to see the difference. A massive difference in the height of the water twice daily that surely isn't anything to do with the alleged gravitational pull of the moon. Oh look, he's come back six hours later when the earth has rotated quarter of a turn enough for the tide to rise. Would you look at that? Absolute village. Okay, I'm done with this guy now. Uh, thank you all for watching as usual. Please like and subscribe. 
and even share if it takes your fancy and I will see you all again soon. Bye.